Friday, February 9th, 4.24 in the afternoon. I have a question for you, hireling. This video of yours popped up about, I don't know, six minutes ago, it says. And I'd like to know what the message is behind it. It's a very provocative video for some reason. Is this what you're starting to present now? Is your side of what you want to see happen? I don't understand what's going on. I mean, does anybody else see anything that's even slightly related to what he should be talking about? I'm just curious, because this video is only going to be up for a couple seconds, and or minutes, or maybe even an hour, you know, to give your cousin, whom you now call name, a chance to download it. That's the excuse you used the other day. As long as she has a chance to download it, that's all I really need. Which went against the whole, I want the whole world to see it. Everybody needs to know that you pulled last time. You're hypocritical in a lot of ways, Hireling. A lot of ways. Get just a You talk anywhere in here, or is this just filler for when you're burying something? That's the, the zebra video. Yeah, the, I called you out for burying it. Because this is the type of video that you just thought was so important to stack one on top of the other. Like somebody was supposed to get a message out of it. And then you buried the video. And that was right after I pointed it out to you. But was that the right thing to do? Because, you know, it wasn't but a few hours later, all of those videos were gone. And you'd tidied up the place. Maybe for seven more demons to come in. I don't know. But this doesn't look good. What kind of testimony is this to Bernadette, or to Kelly, or to anybody else, for that matter? But you've already pointed it out that your cousin is your zero-in on focus. Everything else is just collateral damage. Those were your exact words, hiring. Collateral damage. As long as you get the prize. And you're working for the prize, believe me, you're not a quitter. I'll give you that much. You've got tenacity about you. But you're in the wrong. In a lot of ways. And this is one of them. You 
sure you're not King Solomon. Putting up all these lavish sex parties. My goodness. It doesn't look like Elijah in there dancing with a half naked chick. Really? During foot. Really? That's what you wanted to tell the world? Bad dog. That's what I said. That didn't look like Elijah in there partying down with the half naked chicks in his camel hair. No. Looks like King Solomon's place to me. What spirit are you there, hireling? <laughs> 